Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm just going to show you guys how I depot my Australis Fresh and Flawless powders into a Z palette like this. I just think it's really handy to um, do this especially if you are a makeup artist and you don't want to carry around little individual um, powders and stuff like that and it's less space even if you're at home and you have a little bedroom or you don't have much space to keep your makeup it is a great idea and I absolutely love this and if you guys would like to see how I depot my Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder then just keep on watching so this is all you're going to need, um, just some magnetic strips, a Z palette, some paper towel and a hair straightener. Tearing off one sheet of paper towel and turning on my hair straightener to heat it up. And just remember that you can use this one sheet of paper towel throughout the whole process. There's no need to go ahead and uh, waste any paper towel when it's not necessary. It is reusable. So now I'm just grabbing my pressed powder and opening it up and placing that paper towel in between the middle half of the pressed powder and grabbing my straightening iron and running it underneath that paper towel. Uh, be sure not to press the top of the hair straightener onto the pressed powder. All we're really doing is just heating up the glue that's in the pan. Now I'm just grabbing a little tool that I use for my foundation and sliding that in between the metal and the plastic and running that around and lifting up that pan out of the plastic. And then you just want to turn the pan around and uh, just be careful because sometimes the plastic glue is hot and you just want to press it down and smooth out any of the rough edges. Now taking your magnetic strips, these are just ones that come with my Z palette. They have a little sticky tab on the back that you just take off um, and stick them onto the pan. As you can see, uh, one of the pans have a letter N on it. I just went ahead and done a quick one for an example to show you. So as you can see here, you just pop it on and press down on that um, just so it makes sure it sticks. And then you just grab a permanent marker and you write the shade or you can really write anything you want. But right here, I'm writing the shade um, deep natural. So I'm just putting a D and an N. So this is the final result. Now all you have to do is just pop them into your Z palette. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Stay tuned for my next one and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.